Hello friends, welcome back to micro lecture series of A Dental Formula, lecture number 3. Today we are going to learn a very important topic, MCQ viewpoint, it is Ellie's classification of anterior tooth fracture. So, all the nine classifications by Ellis is very important in case of anterior tooth fracture. So, there are totally nine classes. Now, concentrate onto the picture. Ellis class 1. What is class 1? It is a simple fracture involving only the enamel portion of the tooth. There is no involvement of dentin. What is class 2? Class 2, there is considerable dentin but not the pulp exposure. Okay, so only the enamel and dentine fracture is involved in case of class 2. What is class 3? In class 3, including the dental pulp is there is an exposure of the dental pulp. So, considerable dentine as well as exposure of dental pulp. So, in such cases, we can see bleeding onto the site. What is class 4? Class 4, the entire tooth has become non-vital. So, what you can see? You can see a discoloration onto the surface of the tooth. What is class 5? Class 5, after the trauma, there is a tooth loss. In the particular position, you cannot find the tooth, which is being classified as class 5. Class 6, class 6 is root fracture. There is no involvement of crown portion. The trauma occurs only to the root portion. Okay, you can see clearly in the picture. And what is class 7? In class 7, there is only slight displacement of the original position of the tooth. Okay, there is no uh, much uh, extrusion or there is no much intrusion of the tooth. But there is only slight displacement of the tooth in this particular case. Okay, and what is class 8? Class 8 is the entire crown portion, not the root portion, only the crown portion N masse is fractured. Only the crown portion is entirely fractured. Okay, now what is class 9? Class 9 is the one which is related to the pedo department that is traumatic injuries to the deciduous tooth. Okay, is it clear? So, all these 9 classifications are very important both for the NEET exam as well as for AIMS exam, any exam of that matter because you can have case based Clinical pictures will be given to you and you have to easily identify which classification of Ellis it belongs to. Okay. Now let's have a simple exercise. Can you identify which one? The first picture. The first picture number which fracture it belongs to. Can you identify? It belongs to the root fracture. Root fracture comes under Ellis class 6. Now second one. Second one can you make out whether it is pulp involved or enamel fracture or dentine fracture. It is class 1 Ellis fracture because only the slight amount of the crown is only chipped off. There is no involvement of dentine. What is third picture? Third picture shows deciduous tooth fracture. So, deciduous tooth fracture is related to class 9. Okay. So, it is Ellis class 9. Third picture is Ellis class 9. Now, come on to the fourth one. Okay. In fourth one, there is crown portion fracture but you can see a slight bleeding so what you can make out there is enamel dentin as well as a slight pulp exposure since you can see bleeding there would be a slight pulp exposure in that particular case so it belongs to class 3 fracture okay now coming on to the fifth picture into the second picture the fifth one there is considerable crown loss okay but there is no pulp exposure so both enamel and dentine is chipped off so it belongs to Ellis class 2. Now coming on to the last one the sixth one there is discoloration of the tooth. Discoloration of the tooth belongs to Ellis class 4. So can you make out the difference? Okay so this is a very important MCQ question. So here we have learned five important MCQs. Usually the class 4 non-vitality is being asked. Okay Ellis class 4 non-vital it is being usually asked as well as uh, the class 9 belongs to pedo fracture okay traumatic injury to deciduous tooth that is also routinely asked question and class 6 root fracture is also a very commonly asked question okay so let me summarize Ellis class fracture is only for anterior tooth okay class 1 is involving only the enamel no dentine whereas class 2 there is also dentine exposure okay slightly chipped off but no pulp exposure Class 3 belongs to pulp exposure as well. Class 4 is non-vital. Class 5 is tooth lost as a result of trauma. Entire tooth is lost. Class 6 fracture of root is only present. Class 7 displacement of the tooth. But the tooth is also within uh, the socket. Class 8 fracture of the crown in masse. And class 9 goes to injuries to the deciduous tooth. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot.